Oh shit. Oh, loud ass trucks. Oh my god. Shit, speaking of loud shit, there was this dude when I was when I was coming from the current shit change. Motherfucker had like a scooter bicycle. Motherfucker sound just like a fucking motorcycle. I was like, damn, why this shit gotta be so fucking loud? Shit, it's coming from GameStop. GameStop. And um uh, had about to be another fucking controller because my old one it lasted about fucking seven months and it was like <laughs> fucking died on me fucking started acting up and shit can't wait to throw that motherfucker away plus i dropped it after the fact that it was fucking defective imagine that so that fucking piece of shit man but i ain't using a regular xbox because i don't want to be buying batteries every month and shit so I can play my games. That's why I understand when Microsoft went to the next Xbox, the Xbox One, for example, the first one, I was expecting wired controllers or wireless ones that didn't require no batteries. They had a fucking built-in rechargeable battery in it. But no, they still want you to spend fucking batteries. So fuck Microsoft for that fucking decision. It's like, who the fuck wants to waste batteries, rebuying batteries, so they can keep their they controllers recharged. That's ridiculous. I fucking hate that about Xbox. Fucking piece of shit. They expect to fucking be better than Sony. And don't give me that. Oh, it's, it's not competition. The people say, oh, it's friendly competition. There's no such thing as friendly competition. <laughs> Fuck that. that. I don't believe in friendly competition. It's either you're competing or you're a dumbass. <laughs> There's no way in the world Sony and Xbox ain't competing. They are. Because if you're not competing, you're slacking off. What the fuck are you doing in the business then? It's ridiculous. I'd be competing like a motherfucker if I, was on, if I was on the Sony team or the Microsoft team. Fuck that shit. I'm trying to be the best, goddammit. I'm trying to knock y'all asses out. <laughs> shit. Anyways, um... I'm across this fucking street. Anyways, uh, as you can see from the title of the video, I want to talk about this fat acceptance movement, uh, which is a uh, feminist organization in disguise <laughs> with a bunch of fat women. And how I know that's because they always they only talk about women. And they say, we got to do what we got to do, ladies. And they don't say, they don't say, we got to do what we got to do. They say, ladies, they got to they make it plain and simple that they don't give a shit about fat men like me. So that's one, so that's one fuck you for that. They, so fuck them for that. Um, only fat women matter to them, you know. And these, these bitches trip me out. I mean, fat acceptance is not your friend. It's not, it's not your fan. Your friend. <laughs> they're, they're not your friend. So it's like it's, it's not OK to be overweight. I'm over 300 pounds and I've gained weight this past two months. I actually gained more. I know how I did it. So it's not like it's a fucking secret. So. um, So I ended up gaining it. And um, that's that. What can I do? You know, I know how to lose it now. I know how to lose it. I, I fucking steered off course. But but yeah, I mean, but But being overweight is not fucking good. It's not healthy. You're bound to get. Pretty sure you fucking heard this time and time again, especially if you see a doctor, because they're supposed to tell you these things. I know because I see a doctor. In fact, I'm gonna see her again late this month so and she's gonna tell me again about my weight we're gonna talk again about it because she's supposed to they're not trying to fat shame you and and they have fat phobia and shit that's bullshit you know i mean you, you bound it you, you are most likely to get a heart attack to get a stroke you know you got joint pains you got chest pains you have shortness of breaths um, the last three that I just mentioned, 
I've experienced those. You experience lethargy, you get tired, you're sleepy throughout the fucking day. I've had that, which prompted me to fucking make this video in the first place. Shit, I fucking sat down, ready to play my game. You know, I'm, I, I wasn't fucking tired at all. Sat down, I was reading the fucking lore of the game, and all of a sudden I started getting sleepy. Eyes getting heavy and shit. And I was like, I knew what it was. And that's why I was so fucking upset, so I had to take me a fucking nap. I mean, granted, I'd have had no trouble getting up. But normally, when I go to take a nap, I sleep for about 40 minutes to an hour. Then I wake up, and then I'd be more tired than I was before I took the fucking nap. If that's a fucking win, you are insane. It's not cute being fat. It's not... It's not it has nothing to do with genetics. It has to do with you, what you put in your fucking mouth. Upbringing, yes, because you got a fat mom. You know her kids going to be eating just like they do. Or a fat father would have a fat parents. You know. It's the norm here, you know. Because, oh, you uh, skinny people can get... So skinny people can get uh, heart attacks, strokes... They can have heart pains, I mean, chest pains and shit. Like, yeah, that's true. But we talking about on the scale of things, you are most likely to get it when you're over fucking weight. Because right now, thank God my feet ain't hurting. I think it's a blessing of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. That Because my feet was killing me before I, before I started making this video. But now I, I, guess, I guess I got the strength to, to, to it's, not, it's not as bad now. I barely feel a pain, but it, my feet was hurting me. And I know what it, what it came from, me being fucking fat. So, so yeah, fat acceptance is full of shit. They go on TV, they go on fucking, they make YouTube videos promoting that shit, talking about it's not, nothing wrong with you. Just lying to these girls. Lying to these overweight girls. And these overweight boys, they, they overlooked anyway, so... They probably really gonna fucking commit suicide. They, oh, they don't care about me, you know. But they care about my sister. Because they always say ladies. You know. So. So, yeah. Um, it's, uh. That's pretty much what I gotta say. It's like, it's fucking full of shit. They're not your friend. They're your enemy. And, and they, they. And another reason why I know they're feminists is because they're sensitive about anything. You know, they, they're very sensitive. They could talk about skinny people, but, they, but you can't talk about them being fat, though. Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> you, they could talk about skinny people, you know. And then they got the sense, and then, then they got the nerve to talk about the world is discriminating against them because they big and shit they complain about the passenger seats are too fucking small it's like and they complain that they have to buy two seats it's like yeah because you need two seats to sit your fat ass down so you have to buy two seats how is that not fair <laughs> how is that not fair that you gotta buy two seats you gotta buy two seats cause you taking up two fucking seats shit it's fair to me. So I don't understand that shit. It's like lose the fucking weight. You know what I'm saying? It's just said and done. I'm like, yes, it is. But if your goal is to lose the weight, you already on the right track. So it's like, holy fuck, man. Then you got these shows called with these 600 pound lives fucking ridiculous it's very depressing to watch that shit how can the fuck how the fuck can you watch that shit very depressed they bedridden and shit you got their family overfeeding they ass the re you can see why the fuck they can't lose the weight anyway because everything that everything he wants i get everything he wants i get it that's why they was walking behind me and shit i'm in chicago so <laughs> motherfuckers are crazy out here so if I end up getting a stray bullet while making this video, you know where I'm at. So, um, I know it's fucked up, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 
Yeah, they say, oh, they, they, they buy McDonald's, they buy them fucking junk food, and they just feed, 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 feed them. And they, so, and they talk about if they don't feed them, they will get upset. I'd be like, well, if that was me, they'd be one upset motherfucker. <laughs> I say, look, if you want it so bad, get your ass out that bed and get it. <laughs> that's what I, that's what, that's what the fuck I tell them. You know. You know, you got these, these, these people, these fat people growing up thinking there's nothing wrong with their weight. You know what I'm saying? Even though they got these fucking pains. And then when you ask them. Do they have any chest pains, joint pains, or what have you? They always say no. And they could be telling the truth. The fact is, they don't got it yet. The key word is yet. So, that's the thing. You don't have it yet, goddammit. So, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It's like, I mean, if you... If you are overweight and you know you goddamn well you got joint pains, your shortness of breath, you got chest pains, you're lethargic, you're tired, you got all these things that are associated with being overweight that your doctor tells you and you tell somebody no you don't got these problems on national fucking TV and 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 and, and, and uh, you just tell people no, you are a goddamn fool and you are a part of the problem. You gotta be ashamed of yourself for lying like that, cause you know, they, cause you know, if you tell the truth, that makes you, that makes you look like an ass, and then, and then, and your narrative falls apart about it's okay to be big, it's nothing wrong with being fat, you know. And they ask you what you eat, and you, and you stall as you twiddle your thumbs and shit. <laughs> I've seen plenty of videos like that. I was like, these bitches are crazy. Um. And so they, they, some, most of the time, they refuse to ask the question. They feel they feel offended. You know, they feel like they're being attacked. It's like, no, it's a simple fucking question. What is your diet like? What do you fucking eat? I mean, it ain't easy. I know, <laughs> but I tell my doctor what I eat. I'm honest with her. And thank God, she was the one that got me to take a look at my weight and try to do something about it. You know, shit go on for hours when we give him the fuck. Despite the pains, the chest pains, the joint pains, the shortness of breath I used to have and shit. And the fucking lethargy throughout the fucking day. You know. It's like, don't be fucking stupid. Don't be fooled, man. These doctors aren't trying to fucking fat shame you. You know. Even though some of you motherfuckers need to be fat shamed in order to change. Because sometimes that's what it takes. That people to, to, to show you that tough fucking love. I mean, first you should come at them nicely. Like, I'm concerned about your weight. Let's do something to, for you can eat better and get the weight off. And if they want to be a bitch about it, then you got to turn into the bad cop, so to speak. You know, you got to give them tough love. Because sometimes that's what it takes. I mean, if somebody calls you fat and your feelings get hurt, Turn that shit into strength. Shit. Don't go go up in the corner and fucking ball up in the corner and shit. I mean, it probably helps you to hear from somebody who is overweight. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, I'm over 300 pounds. And and that's considered overweight. I mean, look at my look at my double chin. Can't really see it because I shaved, but <laughs> I'm big myself, you know, and I'm telling you that they're lying to you. They ain't trying to fat shame you. And if you do feel bad about it, good. That's good you feel bad about it. Because that means you give a shit. Because if you don't give a shit, you, <laughs> it, it's nothing they can say to you that's going to make you change, you know. So take that as a positive. Shit, it's a fucking problem, man. Especially in America and Australia. I mean, being overweight is a huge epidemic, you know? And it costs the medical field a lot of money to take care of y'all asses. Shit. I mean, it costs... It costs it, I mean, in America, it costs 47... I think it's 43 or $47 billion a year 
to take care of overweight people. That's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> I think it's 43 billion, they said. But anyways, 43, 47, something like that. That's a lot of fucking money, regardless of how much. It's over 40 billion, I tell you that. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Don't take my word for it. It's probably more now. <laughs> Shit. I heard that two years ago. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Stop lying to yourself and get some help. You know what I mean? I mean, shit. Just go to see a dietitian or some shit. What the fuck, man? Anyway, this is Y Chromosome. Signing out. Peace and love, baby. All right, now.